Welcome to a show where things happen to other people and I tell you about them so we can all laugh at their misfortune. Or... Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Radovan Kur... 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 Karadazic... Kick. Seen here quietly shitting so as to not alert the guards, who incidentally already know and are keeping their distance, was put on the spot in world court the other day. You might remember him better as the guy charged with genocide, complicity in genocide, five counts of crimes against humanity, and four counts of war crimes. I thought three counts of war crimes would have been sufficient, but far be it for me to stop the witch hunt. I mean, world tribunal. During the proceedings, Karadzic testified that he had an arranged deal in 1996 uh with, at that time, negotiator in the United States, Richard C. Hullabrook. Mr. Hullabrook denied that the middle initial in his name stood for cunt and making the deal, describing the charges as ridiculous, ridiculous, Mr. Krikrikic followed with saying, their intention was to liquidate me. No one in the court had any idea what he was talking about, and one justice burst out laughing uncontrollably. The translator then told Krikrikic that he should probably choose a different word, as liquidation didn't really translate so well. When asked what the hell he was talking about, he repeated that he remained concerned about his safety, saying, he still wants my death of Mr. Hallenbrook, and then wondering out loud if his, Mr. Hallenbrook's, arm, and I quote, arm was long enough to reach him here. The court assured Mr. Grigidich that Mr. Hallenbrook's arm was of normal length, and it would be the Muslim rapist in the communal showers in the jail that more than likely snuffed out his light and went back to eating prison-issue cream of wheat, as if nothing had happened. In other world news that doesn't need to be embellished to be funny, Zimbabwe changes their inflated currency. The Reserve Bank said Wednesday that Zimbabwe would be taking 10 zeros off of its current currency, changing one billion Zimbabwe dollars, that's billion with a B, to one Zimbabwe dollar. Can they do that? Gideon Gono, seen here setting a new record for longest spitting through teeth while in office, who incidentally is also the governor of the central bank, said the new currency would begin to circulate Friday with a 500 Zimbabwe dollar note. The announcement of the devaluation of the Zimbabwe dollar came a week after the Reserve Bank had introduced a, a 100 billion Zimbabwe dollar, which incidentally was not enough to buy a loaf of Bread. President Robert Mugabe, seen here wondering how he got such a weird first name, or here, trying to match Gono's record for spitting, threatened a state of emergency if businesses profiteered from the economic and political unraveling of Zimbabwe. The businesses in Zimbabwe responded affirmatively, stating that he had nothing to worry about as they were unlikely to turn a profit doing anything while he was in office. Final summation, the world continues to be fucked. But here in the United States, we have absolutely nothing to worry about because we've elected George Bush. He is not a warmonger or an idiot with finance, so we don't have anything to worry about. Thank you for indulging me in a little highbrow comedy. I'll see you tasty little lemon droppings. It's like a, it's like a lemon dookie, only it's more polite to say dropping. Monday, on Monday. Mwah. I still love you, even though you don't like me anymore. Mwah.